In 1992, the Muskinekong River was designated a National Wild and Scenic River in order to preserve its outstanding natural, cultural, and recreational values for present and future generations. The scenic Muskinekong River Valley is a key component of regional tourism. However, the river ecosystem is under attack from an invasive species. The Muskinekong Watershed Association has currently identified various locations within the Muskinekong Watershed which have tested positive for New Zealand mud snails. By preventing the spread of this invasive species, you will be protecting the Muskinekong ecosystem and all of its natural resources, including the fish populations which are a major source of recreation in the area. In this video you will learn how to not only identify this alien invader, but you will also gain the skills and knowledge to help prevent their expansion throughout the watershed. If you are looking to take an active role in preventing the spread of NZMs and want to become a part of the MWA's citizen science group, River Watchers, who monitor several sites along the river, look for contact information at the end of this video. The New Zealand mud snail is a tiny aquatic snail which can be found lurking on rocks or gravel surfaces, aquatic vegetation, or woody debris in slow moving areas of lakes, rivers, streams, and reservoirs. What makes these snails so invasive is that they are able to tolerate a broad range of harsh environmental conditions. This is compounded by the fact that the New Zealand mud snail is able to self-clone, meaning a single female mud snail can produce a colony of 40 million snails in just three years. They not only monopolize ecosystem resources against other macroinvertebrates, but when an animal consumes the mud snail, they are able to pass through the digestive system unharmed and therefore providing no nutritional value for the animals which consume them. This can dramatically alter the dynamics of the ecosystems they invade. In terms of identification, an adult mud snail can be anywhere from 4 to 6 millimeters in length with a light to dark brown shell comprised of 5 to 7 whorls or spirals. When holding the snail with the opening on the bottom and facing you, their shell should open from the right. Our goal is to minimize the mud snail's introduction to other parts of the Muskinekong or other bodies of water. In order to do so, the following protocol should be followed. First, you want to stomp and visually inspect boots and waders upon leaving the water source. Then, you want to thoroughly brush boots and waders where available, use the convenient decontamination stations provided. To ensure any remaining mud snails that may be tucked away or killed, spray with formula 409 degreaser in the green bottle or Vircon, which have both been found to be the most effective disinfectants for killing NZMs on waders. Next, you'll want to rinse your waders and boots after a minimum of 20 minutes away from the water source, preferably at home or by your car to prevent leaching of chemicals into the water. Finally, and probably most importantly, let your waders and boots dry. This is crucial because the mud snail is able to completely seal its shell, allowing it to survive out of water for several weeks in cool, damp conditions. Let's work together to keep the magic of the Muskinekong River Valley alive. By doing our part to protect our waters, you can preserve the beauty of our area, quality of our rivers, and the diversity of our ecosystems. We thank you for your efforts, and we want to thank the Watershed Institute whose grant provided funding for this project. If you are interested in learning more or are looking to get involved, please contact the following resources.